I have no idea what's going on between Garcia and Cambosis, but let's take a look at it. Push the weight in the flex, flex. The live is one in the six. Hey. If it's the runner boy, you need no question. Yo. You would run a motherfucker high stepping. Yo. Hey, you never had a big enough weapon. Hey. Motherfucker never learned your lesson. Right. Hey. I'm an 88 pack nigga. Woo. I'm an 88 pack nigga. Oh, 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 I mean, they walk and drink blood things out. Full moon, motherfucker change like a hoe. Right. I'm just a nigga from the hood trying to stack a little cheddar for the money. Drew Titan, Bronze on Deck, shout out to the Mighty LDBC. I saw this earlier and I'm, you know, people sending me screenshots and stuff. Um, Y'all gonna have to explain this to me. Now, George Cambosis, um, and I'm, I'm gonna look at this because <laughs> this is concerning two, two fighters that I really don't like deal with. Um, if you follow my channel, I didn't even speak about the Cambosis uh, Lomachenko fight because actually I forgot about it to be honest with you. But it came on, it was on free TV, it was on ESPN, and I watched it. You know, um, sidebar, um, you know, Lomachenko was supposed to be this superstar, but um, his last fight prior to that was against Devin Haney on what pay per view. And now I'm watching him on free TV, but whatever. But uh, he beat up George Cambosis last night. All right. Uh, George showed up. Now, look, I'm going to talk like you already know I don't deal with Ryan Garcia. I don't deal with George Cambosis. If you follow my channel, you know that. But I need somebody to explain what this is. So someone sends me uh a screenshot of this tweet and this is what Ryan Garcia says you know the the, uh, the 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 young man that says thank you Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Jesus and then right after that he tell he says he, he he'll put his junk in someone's mouth right that's what he said right the, the, the kid that says some guys kicked in his door and kidnapped him and snatched him into the forest and made him watch horrible things being done to, 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 to kids and rhymes for the kids and the Illuminati and everything else. I don't know what happened here. I'm going to ask y'all to tell me. George Cambosis had a hard fight against Vasily Lomachenko, which he came up short. He was stopped. Round 11. Now imagine you, you, you have a, a hell of a fight. You do the best you can. You lose by stoppage. You go home. And on your Twitter, you see this. This kid who just popped dirty, who's going through his own personal thing for, for whatever's happening, for whatever this reason is, and he says this about your wife. Now, y'all know I don't deal with George Cambosis. But what is this? I didn't know they were beefing. He says, I slept with George Cambosis' wife, no cap. Now, I'm going to need y'all to explain to me what prompt this. Did I, am I missing something? What happened? What happened? I don't know what happened. What's, what is this? This was today. Today. And uh, George responds, I sit with your mom. If want to get that low, you dog, shows the classest person you are talking about my wife the mother of my kids you're dead when I see you no boxing now I don't know what started this y'all gonna have to fill me in I'm gonna tell you if this is unprovoked I am looking at you Ryan Garcia fans and protectors more strange I didn't even know they were beefing what is this what is this tell me what this is go ahead I want to hear from the detractors I want to hear from the people that say that this is a good kid and everything else and praise Jesus I want to hear from you what, what started this 
And why would you say that? He could say he, he could have said anything. Aha, you lost to a guy I'll smoke. I want Lomachenko next. He could have said that. Why are you attacking this man's wife? And to say that? Now, as I say that, when this video uploads, there's going to be some Garcia fan that's going to jump in my comment section. Mock my words. I'm, I'm going to disarm them. You ready? They're going to say, so what? So what? He attacked George's wife. So what? Drew, isn't she racist? You remember when she said she was getting niggered? Meaning she was getting a tan? A tan? By the poolside? Yeah, I don't forget anything. I remember that. I just pointed it out. But that's why I attacked George and her. What's what's uh what's, what's Ryan's reasoning for that? For attacking him by attacking his wife. That's real Christian of him. What is that? What is that? How many Ryan Garcia fans are going to jump in here and say, I don't care what he said. He's just selling a fight. He's just trolling. What fight? Let me get this straight. What, what are you trying to do? You want to fight George next? Now, did they have some sort of spat prior to this? I'm not on Twitter or X or whatever they call it. Y'all let me know. I don't remember. I don't know. This is very random. And I'm just questioning everything that y'all put out there. This is a Christian kid. He's for the kids. This is what he says. Wait a minute. George Ferocious Cambosis. Vasily Lomachenko. Remember when George said, I'd rather not fight Devin Haney. I'd rather fight Vasily Lomachenko anyway. My, I'd rather give my Christian brother a shot. At, at um at uh unified remember that so the christian brothers fought and lomachenko won is this the christian thing of ryan garcia to be doing i'm asking y'all y'all talk about his of submission to christ okay you want to go there i never saw andre ward doing something like this never i never saw it and he was mean i never saw him do this SOG, son of God. He submitted it to, to, to Christ. So Ryan Garcia did that too, and this is what he's doing? Oh, yeah, I'm questioning everything. Everything. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, DJ. I put my ick in your mouth, itch. Remember that? Remember that? Is this trolling? Is this trolling? Tell me, this is trolling? You talking about a man's wife, man. So I'm just curious, what happens if he does? It? <laughs> what happens if George, you know, heals up and hops on a plane and, I don't know, flies out to where Ryan Garcia is? Now it's something else. Look at what he says in caps, no boxing. What part of marketing is this? This is acceptable, right? Reverse the roles. What if Debbie Haney says something like this? I already know how y'all would behave. I already know. I already know. You guys are living, walking contradictions. And outside of telling me, hey, this is classless, I don't want to hear any justifications for Ron Garcia's words in this situation and I don't I don't I don't mess with George Cambosis. I don't deal with him. I don't hear any of y'all calling him a one trick pony because that's just what he is. That's just what he is. But more on that tomorrow. I don't see no memes about him. But more on that tomorrow. But I'ma see a thousand and one Negroes laughing at what Ryan Garcia just said. And meanwhile, I got black people running around talking about, hey, you know, the, 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 the need for Ryan to be guilty. The need for Ryan to be guilty. is a, They don't need, don't need for him to be guilty. I need Ryan not to be guilty. I need boxing to be safe. I want the B-test to be wrong. But unfortunately, I know how this goes. And he cheated, man. 
Stop worrying about what we feel or what you think we want and deal with the facts because we dealt with it. Take the L and move on. We did. We moved on. And in a week and some change later, we got this news. Stop worrying about how we feel and deal with the facts. And more and more, I feel this dude is on, is on recreational drugs because look at what he's doing. George already lost. He has to deal with that. When athletes lose, man, athletes are very sensitive. Case in point, when Devin schooled Vasily Lomachenko, he cried. And I was watching it last night. They were saying, he was saying, hey, man, he had to like second think his life in, in, in the sport and everything. Devin ruined his confidence. That's what the tears were for. So this man has to deal with a, 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 a stoppage, and he's this is his third loss in his country. I don't see his countrymen making fun of him that I know about. I don't know. So he has to deal with all of this, and then he gets on Twitter, and he's getting bullied by a guy he never had a problem with. Now, if he had a problem with this kid at any point, let me know. Put the link in the in in, in the, the the Twitter down there so I could watch it, so I could look at it. But as far as I know, this is unprovoked. And before you go justifying this, let me ask y'all a question. For those of you that are married, for those of you that had girlfriends, whatever, how do you treat a man that says that about your wife? And I, I hear the the, the, the the Ryan Horlicks. Yeah, what if it's true? Man, don't don't start with me, man. Tell me this. Tell, justify this. Tell me that this is uh, tasteful, tastefully done. Go ahead, tell me. Justify this. Tell me who you are. And watch this. If we can rip Tank Davis for all of his tweets and deletes and all his disrespect and disrespecting uh, 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 everybody. Clarissa Shields, and he's going back and forth for the woman, disrespecting everybody. If we can call that crap out and call call out Adrian Broner for, for, for saying what he said about Alicia Bumgarner, I'm supposed to look past this? I've spoken on it all. Go ahead and tell me that this is cool with you. Go ahead. Go ahead. Show me who you are. Show me who you are. Tell me you're okay with this. You see, Ryan's feeling himself right now. And I'm telling you, all of it, this right here and the, 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 the nonsense with Errol, this guy's making a lot of unnecessary enemies. And the 22nd ain't even here yet. So all of this stuff that he's doing, you'll mess around. He's going to get a two-year ban. It was going to be laughing then. Because you, you think it's over with the two-year ban? You think that's going to be over? Nope. Fun's just beginning. But this is your king kicking the man when he's down. But this is behavior that you Negroes are good with, you know, kicking the man when he's down. That's what all the memes are, whatever. Mind you, please, I, I want to see all the uh the Australians. I want to see all the Aussies with the Cambosis memes. Go ahead. Go ahead. Talk to me. Send them to me, please. You guys are ridiculous, man. Bronx on deck. Move!